NASA has confirmed that its James Webb Space Telescope has successfully completed the final stage of its deployment and can now prepare for science operations. With the full deployment, the satellite is now ready to begin preparing for its main mission. Join us as we present to you, NASA finishes deploying the James Webb Space Telescope in Gadget. Number 8. Everything about JWST the James Webb Telescope, which is set to replace the Hubble Space Telescope, will study the origin of the universe. Equipped with sophisticated cameras, James Webb will look at the celestial objects by capturing infrared light from them. In addition to studying our solar system, it is expected to learn more about distant worlds too. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, was launched aboard an Ariane 5 rocket on December 25th last year. It is so big that it had to be folded to fit in the rocket. The $10 billion observatory in space will complement and extend the discoveries of the Hubble Space Telescope with longer wavelength coverage and greatly improved sensitivity. The longer wavelengths enable Webb to look much closer to the beginning of time and to hunt for the unobserved formation of the first galaxies, as well as to look inside dust clouds where stars and planetary systems are forming today. Number 7. Know more about the universe. Webb will tell us more about the atmosphere of extrasolar planets and perhaps even find the building blocks of life elsewhere in the universe. In addition to other planetary systems, Webb will also study objects within our own solar system. One method Webb will use for studying exoplanets is the transit method, which means it will look for the dimming of the light from a star as its planet passes between us and the star. Webb will also help us to understand the trace organics in Mars' atmosphere and be used to do studies that verify the findings of the Mars rovers and landers. In the outer solar system, Webb's observations of the outer solar system will be used with Cassini's Saturn observations to give us a better picture of the seasonal weather on our giant gas planets. Number 6. Largest and Most Powerful Telescope Webb is NASA's largest and most powerful space science telescope ever constructed. Webb's enormous size and frigid operating temperatures present extraordinary engineering challenges. After launching from French Guiana, the observatory will travel to an orbit about 1 million miles away from Earth and undergo six months of commissioning in space, unfolding its mirrors, sunshield, and other smaller systems, cooling down, aligning, and calibrating. Astronomers worldwide will then be able to conduct scientific observations to broaden our understanding of the universe. Webb will also complement the science achieved by other NASA missions. Thousands of engineers and hundreds of scientists work to make Webb a reality, along with over 300 universities, organizations, and companies from 29 U.S. states and 14 countries. The new telescope is at least 100 times more powerful than the Hubble telescope. And with its golden mirror, astronomers are hoping to catch glimpses of the universe like never before. For the best view of space, one needs to be in space. And that's what Webb will do. With major deployments complete, Webb continues its journey to its final halo orbit around L2. In the meantime, there are several smaller deployments in the next couple of weeks, which constitute the beginning of a several-month phase of aligning the telescope's optics. Webb is an international collaboration between NASA and its partners, the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. Number 5. Fully Deployed The James Webb Space Telescope team fully deployed its 21-foot gold-coated primary mirror, successfully completing the final stage of all major spacecraft deployments to prepare for science operations. The two wings of Webb's primary mirror had been folded to fit inside the nose cone of an Ariane Space Ariane 5 rocket prior to launch. After more than a week of other critical spacecraft deployments, the Webb team began remotely unfolding the hexagonal segments of the primary mirror, the largest ever launched into space. This was a multi-day process, with the first side deployed on January 7th and the second on January 8th. Mission Operations Center Ground Control at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore began deploying the second side panel. Once it extended and latched into position, the team declared all major deployments successfully completed. Number 4. Next Steps The world's largest and most complex space science telescope will now begin moving its 18 primary mirror segments to align the telescope optics. 
The ground team will command 126 actuators on the backsides of the segments to flex each mirror, an alignment that will take months to complete. Then, the team will calibrate the science instruments prior to delivering Webb's first images this summer. Webb's successful deployment truly exemplifies the best of what NASA has to offer. The willingness to attempt bold and challenging things in the name of discoveries still unknown. Soon, Webb will also undergo a third mid-course correction burn. One of three plan to place the telescope precisely in orbit around the second Lagrange point, commonly known as L2, nearly one million miles from Earth. This is Webb's final orbitable position, where its sunshield will protect it from light from the sun, Earth, and moon that could interfere with observations of infrared light. Number 3. JWST will see back further than ever before. The Webb will usher in a new age of astronomy, scientists say, and show humanity things it has never seen before. The Webb represents the culmination of decades, if not centuries, of astronomy. We've been waiting for this for a very long time. Scientists started thinking about a follow-up even before the Hubble Space Telescope launched in 1990. After more than three decades in space, it's unclear how much longer this boundary-breaking satellite will be able to scan and photograph the universe. The Webb was originally supposed to launch in 2010 and cost around $1 billion. Its price tag ballooned to $10 billion, and it's way overdue. But the wait will be worth it at least according to the scientists who expect new and revealing glimpses of our universe. The Webb will surpass the Hubble in several ways. It will allow astronomers to look not only farther out in space, but also further back in time. It will search for the first stars and galaxies of the universe. It will allow scientists to make careful studies of numerous exoplanets, planets that orbit stars other than our sun, and even embark on a search for signs of life there. Number two. How is it better than Hubble? The web is a machine for answering unanswered questions about the universe, for exploring what has been unexplorable until now. Webb improves on Hubble in two key ways. The first is just its size. Hubble was about the size of a school bus, whereas Webb is more like the size of a tennis court. It is enormous. Webb is by far the biggest telescope NASA has ever attempted to send into space. The second is the mirror size. Hubble's was an impressive 7.8 feet in diameter, whereas Webb's beautiful gold-hued mirrors combined for a diameter of 21.3 feet. Overall, that amounts to more than six times the light-collecting area. And the more light you can collect, the fainter and farther away things you can see in the universe. Number 1. Decoding Astronomy In astronomy, the farther away things are, the older they are, because light from faraway places takes a very long time to travel to Earth. So, what does that mean in practice? Well, consider one of Hubble's most famous images, the deep field. In 1995, scientists set the Hubble to stare off into a teeny tiny patch of sky, about the size of the head of a pinhead, held at arm's length from the viewer and capture as much light as it could from that one spot. The image that came back was astounding. Hubble uncovered thousands of galaxies in this teensy patch of sky, helping us refine the number of galaxies thought to exist in the universe. That means this Hubble deep field is not only a snapshot of space, it also contains the history of our universe. What Webb will do is take that field and go even further. With Webb, astronomers will be able to see so far back that they'll potentially spot the very first stars and galaxies. Hubble has seen light dating to about 400 million years after the Big Bang, which took about 13.3 billion years to reach us. That's far. But Webb has the capability to take us to 250 million years after the Big Bang. We could see the first stars that ever turned on. Astronomers called this period when the first starlight shone through the universe, Cosmic Dawn. With the Webb, humanity will be able to get a glimpse at it for the very first time. So, what do you think? What are your thoughts about the James Webb Space Telescope? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as we enjoyed bringing it for you. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.